This live meeting tutorial focuses on how to use whiteboards and annotations. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to open a whiteboard, then operate the annotations, change the annotations, delete one single annotation at a time, and delete multiple annotations. You're looking at the live meeting dashboard. Our first action is to open a whiteboard. To do that, you go up and open your content pane. Just by left clicking on this first menu, if you've opened it previously, it's going to go to wherever you had it open the previous time that you were into live meeting. We're now going to go ahead and bring a whiteboard into the session by just clicking on the share button. We can share lots of different ways, but in this case, we're going to share the whiteboard. Just select the menu item, left click on it, and instantly the whiteboard appears. You might have also noticed that on the content pane, the whiteboard is labeled whiteboard number two. We can change the name of that whiteboard just by right clicking on it, click rename, and then give it a name. We're gonna call that agenda and click OK. Now you notice that the whiteboard has been relabeled Agenda. As the presenter, your annotations are automatically available to you, but they are not available to your participants unless you give them that privilege. So you want to go up to the Attendee pane, click on it, go to uh, After Attendees where it says the double chevrons, click on Permissions and give them the ability to annotate the current content and click Close. Now, everybody's annotation toolkit on all of your attendees in your meeting will be colored, and that means that they are active and people can use them. The heart of a highly successful collaborative meeting on live meeting will involve the use of the whiteboard and the annotation tools in combination with each other. Look, we have 12 different ways to annotate. We've got text tools, we've got shape tools, line tools, we have stamp tools, different colors, and we have the ability to delete and move them. It is an awesome annotation toolkit. It's really best in the industry. The annotations all work about the same, so I'm just going to show you some of the simpler ones. There are three stamps. There is the arrow stamp, the check stamp, and the X stamp. All you have to do is select it, come up on the screen, and just click away. And you'll be able to put as many on there as you want. It's very easy to switch over and use the X stamps and to use the check mark. I really like them because they're just very colorful and very large. And so you can use them for polls and various types of feedback. You also can go over to the Select Annotation tool, which is the first tool on the line, and select it. It kind of looks like a dotted rectangle. It doesn't draw anything, but it does allow you to see who put every mark on there. Notice as I hover over each of those check marks, it shows my name because I put them all on there. But if you had put yours in this same list, as I hovered over yours, it would show your name as the person uh, that put that annotation on the screen. It's really a nice feature. You might be wondering, well, how do I erase? How do you erase? You just go and on anybody's annotation, you once you have the select annotation tool selected, you just left click on it. It has four little handles around it. See those little boxes? That means it is selected. And once that's the case, you just hit the delete key and away it goes. So the select annotation tool must be selected. Click on any of the items that you want to remove. Left click on it once. Wait for the handles as soon as the handles are there. Then hit your delete key and it goes away. You also can delete more than one at a time. For example, if I want to delete maybe this one, this one, and this one. Because the select annotation tool looks like a rectangle, you're just going to kind of draw an imaginary rectangle around those that you want to eliminate, and you're going to let go, and you'll notice that now we have three of the annotations that are selected and are ready for deleting, and so you can delete them that way. Let me give you a very big caution. You want to make sure that no one is using the clear annotation tools other than the meeting leader or the meeting facilitator. We want to make sure that we don't use this because when you do use the clear annotations, which looks like it should just be an eraser, it is all annotations will be permanently removed from the selected page. That means you cannot bring them back. So if you've got some really important whiteboard data and someone clicks on this and goes ahead and clicks OK on it, that material's gone forever. You can't bring it back. And so just be aware of that. 
Let's look at some of the other tools that are really cool to use. We have a series of different shapes and lines. Uh, let's go to the draw freehand. You can use your mouse like a cursor and you can write your name. You're going to feel like you have just gotten demoted back to kindergarten again because it is really hard to write. I'm left-handed and I've got a bounce with my right hand and so it is just really difficult for me to do this. But you can use it, but it's very slow, isn't it? We're probably not going to use that one very much. I am going to use that delete all those annotations on there. But we also can use the draw line or draw arrow. Those are straight lines. So just go and dress, uh, do one. Then go down and change the color and draw another one and change the color and draw another one. Every time you change the color, it goes in a different direction. And so it's also, you can eliminate it by using the select annotation tool. Go back and eliminate one line at a time, just like you're seeing me do. Another really important tool that you're going to be using is going to be the text tool. And with the text tool, you just left click on it to select it, come up on the screen, type whatever words you want to type on here. Like, what is your favorite season? And I'd put summer. I love summer. And so you put it on there. Now, notice mine is not very readable because it's yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my select annotation tool and I'm going to click on that name and I'm going to change the color on it. So once it's selected, I can change the color to anything that I like here. Maybe I want it orange, maybe I want it to be purple or whatever color I want it to be. I also can move it around and this is one of the coolest things about uh, being able to type on this whiteboard is you can move things around. So if I type the word, uh, if I type winter and I type spring and if I type fall or autumn, whatever you want to call it, then by using the select annotation tool, I actually can put them in order like spring, summer, fall, and winter. But this again, this is with the select annotation tool. It does allow you to do that very quickly. If you are presenting, and if you have presenter privileges, you'll also be able to use the laser tool. Just left click on it to select it, release the mouse button. And now when you're on the screen, it's actually showing all the time. But when you hit your left button on the mouse, it will allow you then to get a little bit thicker laser that as you talk about things, you can actually use this to point to them and kind of hold it in place. You don't want to be whipping it around the screen all the time or it just gets really, really irritating. The last thing that you want to know is about the highlighter tool. And the highlighter tool works like a very thick yellow highlight. It's a little bit dark, but you still can see the words through it. It's also a little bit thick, but again, if you have the need to use a laser tool, it does allow you to experiment with it. So I encourage you to get onto Live Meeting and experiment with all of the annotation tools. Just use every single one of them, delete them one at a time, delete them a group at a time, and delete the whole screen just so you are familiar with everything. So the last great part of this whiteboarding and annotations capability is that you can actually bring a PowerPoint presentation into the live meeting and be able to annotate on it just as if it was a whiteboard. Now this is going to be really important when you're putting together a really quick meeting that you want to have some certain discussions on. So all I did was I went to the share menu. To open the whiteboard, I went down here. But if you want to bring your PowerPoint into the live meeting and you want to be able to annotate on it, you want to use share upload file and it will bring it in. And once it's in, then you will have the ability to do have people just type on it, just like what you're seeing here. If I were doing introductory activities with my group, I would then put these in alphabetical order and I would ask people to introduce themselves. And so um, I would put Kara's name and, you know, just kind of put these in alphabetical order so that uh, we could do some introductions. You can move them around and group them around. And uh, it just makes it real easy for us to just kind of get those introductions done. If I wanted to, I could go over here and type what I want them to say. What's your name? What's your role? What's your city? Or something like that that you're calling from. And then everybody in here will have a chance to be a part of that introduction in a very ordered way. You can also move groups of things up just like what I'm doing here just by using the select annotation tool and moving them around. And so look what an absolutely wonderful feature this is. I just love the whiteboarding feature in live meeting and I'm hoping that you do too.
So let's rapidly review all that we learned. In this module, we learned we can open a whiteboard at just how easy it is. From the content menu, presenters can open a whiteboard. You also can use upload presentation and bring in your PowerPoint with whiteboarding capability. We also learned how to operate the annotations, and there were two levels. One is that you as the facilitator, if you are the facilitator, must enable annotations for the attendees. By default, you have access to them all. If you have presenter status, you can do them all. But for attendees, they do not have the ability to use the annotations unless you enable it through the attendee panel. The second thing we learned about operating annotations is just how easy and fun it is to use. So if you look at all those annotations on the right side of the screen, go in and play with every single one of it. Change the colors, change the location, change the design, use the shift key, all the things that we learned to get the best use out of those annotations. We also learned the power of the select annotation tool. If you need to change an annotation or delete one or delete multiple, you want to be using the select annotation tool. When you use that tool, you can hover over anybody's entry and see who put it on there. You can delete it, you can change it, you can move it. It's just a very powerful tool. So get in and have some fun playing with it. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, the webinar guru, signing off. We'll see you soon.